going to share with you something called the WHO framework for data quality review. This is an approach to assessing the quality of the data which are routinely reported by health facilities each month. There are a variety of tools that you may be familiar with for assessing data quality. Here are several of them. WHO has a data quality review toolkit that you can access using this web link. We will provide you with these PowerPoint slides and later perhaps you can browse this website and even download the three documents that describe in greater detail the WHO data quality review framework. To begin with, we should say something about the frequency of data quality review. This assessment of the quality of data could take place at various frequencies. It could be monthly. And this is going to be a large part of the focus of this workshop, how staff at health facility and district level could routinely, that is monthly, assess data quality. On the other hand, at national level, there should be a process that is at least once each year, perhaps just before the annual health summit, the annual review of progress against the core indicators to assure the quality of data before they are, are interpreted for the annual review. And then in the longer run, certain specific health programs such as the immunization program or the HIV AIDS program might have every three to five years a more in-depth program specific review. There are two principal methods for assessing the quality of routine data. The first involves surveys or at least a supervisory visit. It requires a visit to the health facility to examine the facility registers, recount the data and compare that recount of data with the data that have been recorded and reported on the monthly report. This type of visit to the health facility allows the surveyor or the supervisor to as well collect information about such things as the availability of staff or the presence of standard operating procedures or whether there are sufficient numbers of reporting formats available. And the supervisor or surveyor can examine the health facility or the district health office to see evidence of use of data, of visualization of data. Now, with all of these advantages of a data verification survey or a visit to the health facility, it has to be acknowledged that it is expensive. It requires uh, travel. And for this reason, such uh, an approach is often infrequent. And sometimes it is applied only to a sample of health facilities or a sample of districts. On the other hand, there's the other approach, which we refer to as the data desk review, and that's going to be the main focus of this workshop. No travel is required. It's called a desk review because it can be done from the office where the database is maintained. If someone has access to the DHIS2 instance, then they can undertake a review, not, not just uh, occasionally, but it can be done monthly. It's practical to do this, and not just for a sample of health facilities, but the review can look at the data for, the, for all health facilities nationwide. And if the right tools are installed in the DHIS2, then this desk review is able to actually drill down and that is investigate uh, at a lower level and find out where any suspicious data have been reported from.